What's up, YouTube? This is Field, a.k.a. Philly here again, bringing you another YouTube video for my channel. I hope you all are psyched and ready for this one today because I got something special for you. I got the Legend of Zelda for the regular Nintendo Entertainment System today. So, I hope you all are strapped in and ready for this wild ride because we are going in balls deep on this one. This is uh, going to be exciting for me, guys, so uh, brace yourselves. Uh, I'm going to teach you a few things about how to uh, get an advantage and a leg up on the competition here on the bad guys uh, in the early stages here of Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, so I hope you all are going to take notes and, and really overall just enjoy the experience that I have to offer you here for this classic fucking Nintendo game from back in 19, uh, shit, 87, I believe, probably. Somewhere around there, anyways. It's in the it's in the 80s. I'll tell you that shit. And uh, you'll see me blasting through these enemies right here. I'm fucking them up left and right. May not be the best at this game, but I damn sure know how to play it. That's for sure. And, and sometimes you'll see me fuck up, and make a mistake here and there. But usually, overall, man, I am in there knocking the competition down left and right. So. You just have to bear with me. Sometimes I look like a fucking professional, and sometimes I look like a damn goofball. So here we go. Right now I'm not doing too bad, though. Staying alive. I haven't had to continue yet. Probably had to continue by this point sometime back in the day when I was playing, when I was about, what, four or five years old when this game first came out with its gold cartridge and all. There's these goblins shooting fucking arrows at me left and right. What's that shit about? Don't they know all you gotta do is block it with that shield? There we go. And so I'm gonna show you guys a few tips over here whenever you first get going. You're gonna wanna go down to the bottom of the screen here in a little bit. I'll show you here. Just bear with me and watch. You'll see, uh, damn, they're fucking shooting arrows messing me up left and right right now. That's what happens. They gangbang you sometimes, so you better watch out. You don't wanna get caught in that gangbang. They might donkey punch you in the back of the head. Uh, actually, that was kind of nasty, but you get what I'm saying. All right, you're going to want to come down here and fuck these guys up a little bit. Try and, if you get messed up like I did, you're going to, oh, hell, they didn't even give me no hearts. I was trying to recuperate some of my health, but it didn't quite work out that way. All right, you got some bombs on you by now, so you're going to go ahead and come down here and blow a hole in this wall here. Yep, blowing that hole in the wall. And then you're gonna go inside and collect. Okay, it gives you an option. You can either take the uh, the uh, health bottle or the uh, heart container. And you're gonna want that heart container because what that's gonna do is you're gonna be able to collect these heart containers first and be able to get that magical sword, that blue uh, magical sword or whatever that lets you do more damage. Okay, that's gonna help you out a lot here in the very beginning. It's going to make you uh, slay those foes left and right without much problem. I went the wrong damn way. Look at that. And uh, really, it's going to make your experience overall that much easier to play the game. So I highly suggest that you get them uh, five heart containers right off the bat before you even start any stages. And then you're going to be able to mow down these bastards left and right with, without any problem whatsoever. And see, while we're over here, we're going to go ahead and stop and get the 30 rupees. And uh, that's going to help you buy shit a lot quicker because you're going to need that candle. Um, you got stages you're going to have to light with that candle and shit. You got secrets that you got to like burn trees down and shit with candles. And now I don't condone going out and burning down trees and shit with candles, but in this game you're going to have to. So get prepared. You're going to have to become a, a semi uh, professional arsonist on this fucking game here. So get your fucking candle ready and get ready to light some shit up. All right, they just lit me up, so I'm going to have to continue right here and go back up where I was and uh, go into this damn cave. And uh, there's all kinds of secrets and shit up there where I was at, so you're going to definitely, uh, if you get killed like I did, you're going to want to go back up there to the top and uh, collect all this shit. There's like a little map piece. It's a blue little map piece or something like that. And you're going to show that to an old lady um, in a little cave over at, where we spawned in at, at the beginning of the game uh, once you show her that little map piece or whatever the hell that is I'm just assuming that's what it is um, she's going to actually sell you some of that uh, blue and red potion stuff that's going to heal you so that's another reason why we didn't take that potion 
at the beginning there when I blew that hole in the wall is because you're going to be able to buy that shit a dime a dozen and so it's a waste of fucking time why are you going to get that whenever you could just buy it for like 45 rupees or some shit um we're also going to go up here and collect this magical sword while we're up here. It's the little blue sword. But you do, uh, keep in mind, you do have to have five heart containers already to be able to uh, collect that sword. Or else he's going to bogart that shit and you ain't going to be able to get it from him. So be prepared. He's a greedy bastard if you ain't got five heart pieces and he ain't going to give you shit. So you're going to be walking away empty handed with your dick tucked between your legs. So be prepared for that one and just know that I told you so. All right, you can blow a hole in that wall right there, but we're going to walk right back by that and uh, come by that here in just a little bit. Right now, I came for vengeance on these bastards, and I am going to collect what is inside our little secret cave that I blew up. And I think it's another 30 rupees here, if I remember correctly. And that's just going to help us be able to purchase more shit here at the beginning um, before we even start uh, level one. Which in level one, I believe you collect the uh, boomerang and the bow. You actually have to purchase the arrows from a shop, but you know that's no big deal because we're about to collect, I believe, a hundred uh, rupees up here, which will set you on your way to get you started off pretty nicely. And if I can find that little secret area, there it is, right there. Don't make the little mistake I made there and look like a rookie and pushing all into the fucking walls and shit. Because if you ain't got much uh, health left, them little pinwheel fuckers will. They'll come over and make you uh, have a bad day. So we got our hundred rupees. We're about to bounce up out of here, and we're gonna go collect all of our other little goodies over here uh, before we start level one. So, like I said, this is gonna make our. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check inside here. Oh hell, it's the uh, gambling game where he either steals your money or or you'll win some for making a little gambling bet with him. But I wouldn't suggest doing it because I usually end up losing money on that bastard. You're better off just walking out in the wilderness here and killing shit and collecting your own rupees. There we go. I got lucky on that one. I got the little fairy. All right, let's come up here and see what we got. Oh, this is where we get that little piece to show that lady. It's like a piece of blue map or something. I don't know. He doesn't really say. Yeah, you don't really... Uh, I don't have the instruction manual anymore to this game, so I can't whip it out and and tell you guys what the hell that is so and I'm not I'm not gonna waste my time and Google that so it's just it's gonna be what it is it's I'm gonna call it a blue map piece okay all right we're continuing along here moving along pretty good in this video but I I still haven't made it to that first stage yet and that's what I was hoping to get to already by now and uh, it just ain't happening but sometimes it sometimes it takes time to maneuver around on this fucking game man you just gotta have patience and and really dodge all their shit and really really look out from all angles because they can be firing arrows and little balls of fire shit and all kinds of stuff at you from all different angles so always be on the lookout because when you first start out you ain't got much life and there's that spot i was talking about earlier you're going to go ahead and blow that up and then look at there you got another heart piece just waiting on you and boom now you got five okay so now you can go up there and uh I'm going to try and do this by memory. It's somewhere around here. I may fuck up a little bit and look like a retard. Uh, no offense to anybody out there. I just You may look kind of stupid here because uh, this gets kind of jumbled up. And I'm trying to go by memory. I haven't played this game a whole lot in the last few years. so uh, I think I done messed up. I don't know. Well, anyways, on this part here, I'm going to show you a little trick here. A lot of people don't know that stage 5 is up here but you have to go up the ladder five times to get to the sun bitch okay so you're gonna have to go up five times to get to stage five now i don't know what clever bastard decided to do that for this game because when i was like four or five years old playing this game for the first time what five-year-old kid's gonna know to go up the fucking ladder five times to get to stage five okay i had to find that a little out a little bit later in life uh through buying the uh, strategy guide or whatever back in the day. I don't have that anymore because it probably got tore the shit up over 25, 30 years. Uh, but anyways, oh hell, I think I'm messing up. I don't think you have to go down five damn times to get out of it. Let me try going this way. No, it's, I think it's the other way. Okay, now after I just went all ass backwards, here we go. We're going to go up this ladder here and uh, collect the sword since we have the five heart container pieces. 
You know, fuck up this little guy. I don't know what the hell he is. Look like a, a minotaur with a sword. Something like that. But anyway, since you got the five heart containers, you're going to be able to snatch that up flawlessly. And uh, that's going to help you out a shitload. And I'll tell you what, man. Since we're already uh, we're way off the path of the first level, we're going to go ahead and die real quick. We're going to continue, and then we're going to go to level one because uh, we're kind of far off from level one where we're at right now. And this is, I believe, a little bit closer. So here we go. Just bear with me a little bit. We'll get there. I promise we're going to get to level one. But you'll understand here, if you were playing this game from scratch like I am, you'll understand that what I just did was important uh, to make the game a lot easier in the beginning. And look at there, while we're here, I forgot about this one. We're going to go ahead and hit this up. You'll get another, I believe, 30 rupees. Yep, 30 rupees. And uh, But anyways, you'll understand why I did all this that I did. It's going to make the game a lot easier in the beginning. Um... Uh, if something really catches you off guard and surprises you and hits you with some shit, you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna pay the penalty too much for it as much because you've got five heart pieces. Once you beat that first boss, you're gonna have six, and so it's it's gonna make things pretty easy in the in the very beginning there, um, a lot easier. I'll tell you that much, uh, especially for somebody that doesn't know where everything's at and is gonna be getting hit by shit a lot, and that's okay, you know, it's. This game's all about having fun, so if you don't know where everything's at, don't worry about it. And hopefully this series here will will teach you a little something and help you be able to get through that, you know, if you decide to delve into this game and, and venture into the Legend of Zelda at the very beginning of its uh, peak when this game came out. So, hey, it's all good, man. We all start playing a game at some time or another, and uh, I have fun when I play this game just like it's the first time I played it. Every time I put it in... That's how much I enjoy this game and all the other uh, regular Nintendo games. And uh, so we're all here to have fun and learn a few things if we can. And while I'm playing, I'll be learning a few things as well because, I mean, it's been forever since I played this game. So, shit, it's all going to have to come back to me piece by piece. And, and if I have to, I'll just have to look up on Google or something if I forget where something's at. Uh, like I said, I don't have my strategy guide anymore, so I'm just playing a lot of this by memory. And uh, I may have to do some research and see if I miss something or, or whatever. And, and I'm sure you guys will understand, you know. I'm, I don't sit around and play this game every day or, or every damn year for that matter. I like to break it out every so often. And because I have so many other games that I play from time to time. I'm always playing uh, Call of Duty for xbox 360 or xbox one whatever i feel like at the time uh, i'm always playing all kinds of things man i've been playing that rayman legends i've been stuck on that pretty good i like that having a lot of fun with that and doing my uh let's play series on that uh, me and my wife have been playing elder scrolls online and, and maybe if i get some time i'll bring you guys a uh, let's play video on that let me know if you'd like to see that um uh, but really, this uh, whole series here that I'm doing is about to, uh, you know, rejuvenating the old classics of the Nintendo. Uh, just having fun with that, man, because this is where it all started, man. Atari may have came out before Nintendo, but Nintendo took this shit and it blew it up to uh, a whole nother level, man. Atari couldn't even come close to what Nintendo did here in the 80s, so... I'm kind of doing a tribute here to Nintendo, man. Miyamoto and them, they had an exceptional product at the time. Uh, they packaged it well. They put it with Duck Hunt. They had that little light gun that came out, and you see me get the map there. It's going to show all the details of this whole stage, and that's going to help out a lot, help you navigate. Uh, but back to my story, man. Nintendo, they just set it off. They came out with an exceptional product that blew Atari socks off, and Atari just couldn't handle with that shit. I mean, Atari had already gone out of style. Uh, they kind of got buried just like that E.T. game that they put out in the landfill that time. Um, and so people were scared about touching Nintendo games at first because, uh, because of what happened with Atari. And so they packaged it up as uh, kind of like a novelty toy rather than a video game system. And look at what it did. It took off. And so that's what this series is all about. It's about paying tribute uh, to this grand console that 
I mean, all these systems that are out today owe what they're doing to this console right here for how they uh, broke all the boundaries and and uh, brought such classic games to this console that would that would future uh, be future uh, classic games for this console. So. Sorry, I'm rambling on a little bit, but I just I really enjoy this console and everything that uh, that gaming has become over the years because of this console and because of the uh, Super Nintendo and uh, the Sega Genesis. To you name it, all these consoles through the years have all added their own little niche to uh, to the video game industry. And if it wasn't for all those little pieces over the years culminating into what we have now then we wouldn't have the shit that we have now so some of you older guys probably understand that but some of you younger guys you don't know you you came along with the halos and all that and that's fine uh but this is to take you back deep deep into the very beginnings and uh you're gonna want to watch out for those little hands they're gonna grab you up and, and uh make you have a really bad time there uh, here we go. We're at the boss of the first level right here. Can you believe we finally made it? And I'm trying to remember how to kill him. I think you got to use the bombs, but I don't know. Maybe you can use your sword when it's all powered up with the little shooting thing. But there we go. Two bombs just killed that son of a bitch. That wasn't too bad. And uh, we did it. We made it to the first Triforce piece here on the first level, guys and girls. So I hope you all enjoyed this. And uh, there's going to be many more to come. Because this was just the first episode with the first stage. And with a few pointers there in between about how to start off. So everybody have a great day and keep gaming on.